Hey everyone, welcome to day five of our series we've entitled The 12 Days of Christmas. We're spending a few minutes together each day looking at a few passages of scripture that will help us keep our focus on Jesus during Christmas. I mean, he is the reason for the season. And today on day five, I don't have five golden rings for you, but I do have one golden rule and five ways we can apply it this Christmas season. First of all, the golden rule. In Matthew 7, 12, Jesus told his disciples, so in everything, do to others what you would have them do to you. This sums up the law and the prophets. Jesus said, you want to summarize uh, what the Bible teaches about how we're supposed to treat other people? Well, do it this way. Do to them what you'd want them to do to you. And so here are five applications of that during the Christmas season. Number one, you and I can be friendly. What a difference a smile makes. What a difference a greeting makes. What a difference a compliment makes. I love it when people smile at me. I love it when people shake my hand and I love it when they give me a thoughtful compliment. Well, if I love it and Jesus says, then do the same. A great way to start off this list. Secondly, you and I can be helpful. This means opening the door for someone. This means offering to help someone who's working on a big project at year end and seeing if they need an extra hand. By the way, uh, the golden rule is stated positively, not negatively. Jesus didn't say, hey, don't do to others what you don't want them to do to you. I mean, that's, that's one thing. But when we come to being helpful, this means that you and I need to look for the needs of others, not just stay away from the things that bother us, but how can I help you in the first place? Being helpful is an important application. Thirdly, you and I can be courteous in traffic. Now, this is a tough one. <laughs> but we love it when somebody else stops and lets us get in line to get out of a parking lot in a crowded situation. We hate it when people cut us off or when people speed around us and then slow down. So what if I put the golden rule into practice today and I'm courteous to the drivers around me? Fourthly, what if I listen to others? We live in a time now when it comes to politics or any other social, any social issue that we disagree on, people get angry and they talk over each other, they talk past each other, even yell and scream at each other, but nobody listens. If you ever see this on a television broadcast, sometimes I see this, I just turn off the TV, I can't stand it. I'm certainly not going to uh, put up with that in my presence. I don't want people just to yell and scream at me, so why would I do it to them? I want people to listen, and so do you. So what if this holiday season we genuinely listen to others and we have time together with our relatives and friends, we ask more questions and listen more than we ever have before? And finally, what if you and I look at people as individuals and refuse to judge them by their appearance? It's a sad thing when people make up their minds about us if we're too old, too young, too thin, too fat, uh, whether we're male, female, the color of our skin, we hate it when people judge us by our appearance. We want people to accept us as us because we know who we are and we want people to understand that we have intrinsic value. God says we each do. So what if you and I, this Christmas season, listen to people and treat them as individuals? What if we look for ways to help them? What if we give courtesy to others in traffic and we're just friendly? A great way to apply the golden rule and it'll be as valuable as five golden rings. Heavenly Father, I thank you for today and I pray that you will help us be friendly to the people around us. That you will open our eyes to ways we can serve. That we'll be courteous in traffic that will listen to others and we will treat other people as individuals and not judge them by their appearance. I thank you that we are of sacred worth to you, each one of us. And we want others to treat us that way. So God, help us to treat them the same. Thank you for Christmas. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you for the golden rule. Help us to put it into practice. In the name of Christ we pray, amen.